Yes. Hi guys, this is Ivy. Welcome to my channel, Ivy Choo Choo Train. I'm here in Aksa with Chris from O'Connell TV. Um, Aksa is one of the most northern prefectures in Japan. It's famous for quite a few things. Um, rice, um, Aksa dogs, which strangely I didn't see any dogs here actually. <laughs> They're famous for uh, beautiful women. And, um, that is true, yeah, Akita Bijin. Yeah, Akita Bijin, and they're famous for udon, a type of um, Japanese noodles. So on the first day, we took the Akita Bijin line, literally translates into Akita Beautiful Women Railway. It goes through Akita Prefecture, and... Um, it, um, it is on a reservation system, so make sure you guys actually uh, plan ahead of time, because um, it does get filled up pretty quickly, uh, obviously because the price, um, plus you get a nice, beautiful uh, view of Akita. Um, it's kind of a cool um, experience to have, uh, so you don't have to be driving um, to get around this prefect. You can take a train and see all of the beautiful sights um, while eating delicious food. All right, so we're now on the Akita Beijing line, and um, this train comes with a coarse meal, um, chestnuts, and um, pickles, noodles, well actually soba and um, rice and sweets. So, um, I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but um, fried chestnuts? How do you open this? Okay. After Akita Bijin Line, we went to Kakunodate, which is a very well-preserved samurai village. One of the most prestigious families is called the Ishiguro family. Uh, their manor, their um, samurai house is open to public. Uh, we got a really nice uh, guided tour there. So make sure you check that out if you come to Akita. Hey guys. Hi guys. We are right now in Kakunodate, which is a city here in Akita Prefecture. Um, and it's a samurai town. Yes, very well preserved. Yeah, it's uh, actually practically unchanged from 1620 which is pretty cool. And we are right now outside uh, Ishiguro uh, Manor, mm -hmm. which is a, kind of like a... The most prestigious um, samurai family here in Kakunodate. Lived here. Yeah, lived here. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in um, old Japanese culture and samurai culture, you have to come check out the Ishiguro Manor here in Kakunodate. Let's go. And basically that area has kind of been untouched for about 390 to 400 years. Um, so it is, is exactly how it used to be uh, mm -hmm. back in the samurai days. So that's kind of cool. Very pretty. It's amazing. Yeah. So that was basically our first day. Second day we went skiing. I, I don't know how to ski. I just rolled my way down the slope. But it was quite an experience. Don't run into me! Don't run into me! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! We went to the Tazawako Ski Show. So 5,000 yen for everything. Um, you can rent ski poles, uh, the jackets, pants, gloves, and the little mm. hat and everything. So it's pretty cheap. Skiing or snowboarding. So they yeah. do both actually, which is kind of cool. Yeah, same price. Yeah. Obviously in the winter time, the Tazawa Lake, uh, which is very famous here in Akita, is not really a mature spot. Um, so basically a lot of people go to that area to ski or to snowboard um, along the mountain. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are here, uh, not during winter time, definitely check out Tazawa Lake to go to the lake and experience a lot. There's so many activities you can do on the lake actually. Um, and with all of the fall foliage, it looks absolutely beautiful with the really, really blue uh, water that is at that lake. Kind of a cool... Uh, how do I say? Blend. Uh, for food in Akita, make sure you try Kiritampo, which is basically a hot pot with um, rice mochis in it. So um, they cook the rice mochis until it's so soft it basically melts in your mouth. Another thing here is called the Hinai Jidori, which is a local branded chicken. Uh, you can try the Yakitori, which is chicken on the skewer. It has a really like crispy skin and it's really soft on the inside. It's really good. Make sure you try that out. So for food, Akita is also famous for udon, um, a 
thick type of Japanese noodle. And in Japan, there are three top brands of udon. Uh, one is in Kagawa Prefecture, another is in Nagoya, and the last one is here in Akita. So a really famous chain store here for udon is called Mugendo. A really cheap, really good. Make sure you try that out. So basically, Akita Prefecture has a lot of good snow. Mm -hmm. So good snow uh, skiing or snowboarding has delicious food. Um, and it has a lot of, uh, I guess, samurai um, traditions still uh, accompanied with it. So um, you get kind of a local feel as well as uh, kind of outdoor activity feel mm -hmm. as well. There's a lot of good onsen or hot springs uh, in this prefecture as well. Um, so apart from what we just mentioned, there are other activities here such as making um, okashi, so Japanese sweets. Uh, you basically get a 40 minute course and you get to make uh, two different kinds of sweets. So that's also something you could try. So that was our three-day trip in Akita. If you want to know more, please make sure to check out the Odigo URL down in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!